we have more than superficial remarks to be made on that concept, healing and reconciliation. And I believe the depth of the issue is in everyone's heart. Everyone can talk from one's own position and put the wounds and the pains. And when we talk out of positions of pain, we end up inflicting pain on the audience as well. But when we take off positions of hope and optimism and charge everybody with the Quran, the Quran says something very simple. Do you want to heal wounds? Do you want to reconcile differences? I will leave you with just one ayah in the Quran. If that one ayah doesn't work, don't try healing and don't try reconciliation. The ayah says, Idfa' billati hiya ahsan. Respond in the better way. Answer in the better manner. I'm not yet at a point to discover what else could work if this one doesn't. And I'm not going to try to search. Even at home, when somebody, let us say the husband or the wife, one of them is angry, agitated, irritated, frustrated, and they reach out to the other, and the answer is in kind, not better, what does it do? It flares up the atmosphere. It doesn't heal. It hinders. So brothers and sisters, I don't have more minutes, do I? I don't. I don't. <laughs> to tell you, and that's why I'm saying it is one verse. Remember the situations in which the Prophet ﷺ stood up, very tall, more than a giant, when people insulted him, when people mistreated him, when people injured him physically, and psychologically and mentally, accusing him of being a liar, a deceiver, and all names in any bad book. But he stood taller than a giant to tell the angel of mountains, don't crush them. Even if they don't believe, I hope that their children will have a better chance to become believers even if they miss the train. How much love is this? Being fought by Khalid ibn al-Walid, talking about wounds, listen to the wound of the Prophet When he was personally injured, when Khalid stood on the other side in the Battle of Uhud, the second battle of Muslims, and the only battle that they were wounded physically, and 70 of the bravest of their men were finished, were killed. After the battle, several years later, here is Khalid again at it, preventing the Prophet ﷺ from entering into Mecca, not standing on his side with differences. He was standing on the other side with war. Do you know what the better answer the Prophet had for him? A simple message. After the Hudaybiyah Treaty, he sent a message to Khalid telling him, Khalid, we see that you are too smart to end up anywhere but in the fold of Islam. How many of us would command or commend their enemies after serious wounds and injuries have been personally inflicted on you and your family. How many? How many could overcome our pain? There is no healing if we continue to remember our pain. And there is no reconciliation unless we reconcile our claim of Islam and our real living Islam. 
Thank you very much. Takbir. Inshallah. And you can do your own takbirs. You don't have to wait for me. <laughs> Just to let you know. Inshallah. Um, uh, mashallah, Jazakallah khair, uh, Imam Shakir, for those words.